to do a quick video. Uh, there's a couple videos on how to install the Harley Davidson garage door opener. Now I had this unit for quite a while and unfortunately I had the Chamberlain garage door openers. Now not unfortunate really. It's a high secure garage door opener so it doesn't allow a dry contact input to close to just open the door. I've been in contact with Chamberlain to explain my needs, why I would need that dry contact. They said for security reasons they won't do it. I complained and said, hey, at the same time, I can simply take your wall switch for that unit right there. That's the smart one there that also has home link or whatever Q-Link in it, my Q. But I could take their expensive switch and go directly to the button in this switch and do the same thing. And they said, no, it's eye secure and that's not a possibility. I said, no, right underneath this cover is a push button switch that just does a dry contact closure to your electronic board, causes the magic to happen at the door to unlock. I also have a Craftsman, which is made by Chamberlain as well. So both of these, unfortunately, are intelligent switches, uh, doorbell, or not doorbell, but uh, garage door openers, and not the simple doorbell type. So that gave me a dilemma to where I couldn't use my garage door opener for the longest time. I was going to open up that expensive switch over there, but I had to order a couple more garage door openers for additional cars. And when I did that, I realized I have an extra board here. So for this HD model, what is it here? HD 836 or 838R. Sorry, I was getting bad. Um, this garage door opener basically plugs in. You put the device on your bike. Plenty of videos on that. I'm not going to go through that has an antenna you flash your high beams low beams and that'll cause this unit to send a dry contact on this set of wires to in theory open your garage door if you have a simple old style garage door the fix and the way to get around this and what I recommended Chamberlain do is sell a module something like this that just you know I can basically screw in two wires to give me a dry contact closure that would allow this intelligent device to open the door still be inside the garage still be secured and they said no they're not willing to do that. They don't see a need for it. And I said, okay, you're going to alienate a lot of people that are in need of what I, what I have to do here. So what I did is this garage door opener I got off of um, Amazon. This button doesn't work, so it's just an extra garage door opener that I had. But I took one of these buttons, and I'm just going to use this one since it's not programmed. But when you simply push that button, it's going to, con it's going to close on this leg on the lower right and the leg on the upper left. So since this button wasn't working, I went to the second button in, in line and I just tied my two wires from the HD garage door opener. One, I just soldered it to the lower right, the other to the upper left, and it's the same as when I push this button, it's going to open the garage door, but the beautiful thing is now when I flash my high beams, it will cause this unit to send the contact closure down these wires, which in theory is going to go here as if I push the button. Even better is I'm going to put this near the exterior of my garage door so I'm going to get the best range that I can versus putting it on the back wall traditionally where your garage door opener would be. And at the same time, I'm going to mount this to the wall so I'm going to have the double convenience. I'm going to have a garage door opener at the door itself going into the, into the kitchen. I'll have a button at the garage door itself, the other end of the garage. Yeah, it's only 10 feet. I'm lazy and fat and don't like to walk. But... That gives me just convenience if I'm there and I want to open the second garage door or whatever. So by doing this, it's going to work where I get my HD controller in line. I'm going to have a remote button on the wall. That'll work. And um, give me a minute. You'll see that happen in action. Don't mind my messy garage, but here is the Harley Davidson uh, wall wart that gets plugged in. The black wire just coming off of it here is your antenna. Sorry about the fingers. Uh, right there. Only thing I should have done different is I should have trimmed that cable up to length. I'll do that later for the purpose of this video. I'm just going to leave it. Um, but uh, that is it there. I will secure this down. May even run it inside the wall because it's just hollow there. But this gives me the convenience. Again, this button doesn't work. That's my main garage door, my second garage door. So now this is out by the garage door itself. And that unit is on the wall to start working for Harley Davidson. So we will go over to the bike and show you what happens when we hit the uh, switch for the high beam, low beam. And now we have a garage door that opens. 
We want it closed. We do the same thing. And now the garage door will close. So that is how you correct and overcome England's high security there for the garage door opener and uh, be able to use your Harley Davidson uh, remote garage door opener kit to open your garage door. Good luck. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Any suggestions, improvements, problems uh, that you have, please let us know. That's what these videos are for, is to help each other out. Thank you.